we will attempt this again, but uh, that's why I said with my other videos, I'm not here to teach you. I'm here so that you can see what not to do. <laughs> So Brittany is working on her transmitter again today, day two. She finished half of it yesterday. And uh, we've got the, we're working on the electrolytic capacitors, which are these guys. However, it says they're all 16 volt, but these actually say 24 volt on them. So not sure what's up with that. Um, Otherwise, it's the right rating, but it says 24 volt. Yeah. Then we got this, which I don't even know what these are. It says 1N4100. So I don't know what those are. We'll have to figure it out. Um, so we have, this is the DC power BNC. This is the crystal. This is the IC. Where is your IC, Britton? What? Where's the IC? I don't know what the heck that means. You had... Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. It goes on. All right. So there's the IC. So it must be these little flat things and these little black things. So we got one, two, three, four. So it's these things right here. These four things are those last items there. So we got to figure out how to read those. So these are directional. You want to make sure you put positive and negative on the right spots on the board. So, um... But you can read the ratings right on them and tell what they're, as long as you have a magnifying glass, you can tell what they're rated. So I would go ahead and just put those on first, Brady. Right. Okay. Uh, because we know where they should go. Right. Okay. Um, you just don't worry about the voltage because they're all, they all say 24 volts. So, and these four items are those last four items right there. Okay. And then this four items is these things and the IC. Thank goodness. All right. So that's all that's left. Okay. So we're having some troubles identifying some parts. No, I know the part. I just don't know how it goes in. See how it is. Puzzles. I don't know which. Does it go oh, yeah. like it. this? Does it matter which way it goes in? Or? Oh, is it got a polarity? What is the part? Uh, what is it? Tornado. Tornado. I don't know. It's uh, one but how did you know that's how do you how did you know you got the right part? Because it has a number on it. Oh, it actually has that number on it. Keep going. All right. It's a What is it? It's a it's a diode. Okay, this is a diode. Yeah. Okay. So you know the direction of the diode by the line. So you do need to, it is directional. Okay, I'll just look at his board. It is directional. Um, so this is a diode. And if you can see that gray stripe, if you can see that gray stripe on one side, that distinguishes which direction you need to place the diode. And Britain is looking that up right now. Um, so the number is on here, which you definitely have to use the magnifying glass to be able to see that matches the number on the, the, uh, the instructions or the inventory list. Um, but now we got to just figure out, I'm guessing that the gray stripe here is the direction that goes towards the, is the direction the current's flowing. So it would flow from this side to this side. Um, that's my guess. We're researching that now to be sure. So here we go. The stripe on the wiring diagram, the line is basically the stripe. So the cathode is, that little picture shows it right there. The stripe is the side where the cathode is on, or basically the negative, and the positive is the anode which Force. is the opposite side from the stripe. And it's almost finished with the little stuff. So hopefully she's... I'm not finding anything about it. It's a transistor, and the transistor's going to have, like, um... Yeah. I'm not finding anything about it. Okay, so the transistor, I don't remember exactly. They, they have basically... It's like a switch. That's the best way to think about it. So you can have an in and uh, an out, I think, and then like a ground, I think. Um, Where is it on here? 
And are the transistors, how many transistors are there? Just one kind? Two. Two different kinds? And how are they labeled? Easy to read? Yeah. So the transistors are easy to read. Let me see. There's a number on this side. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Huge. Well, you can't see it in the camera, but on the flat side, there's a number. You definitely do need good lighting and a magnifying glass to read all this stuff. But Where is Q9? Uh, we do this kind of stuff all the time. So Where now we got to just figure out how... There it is. So now we just got to figure out the direction in which to place it on the board. Mad. That makes me very mad. On the instructions, you'll see that um, the transistor has a curve in it. Let's see if I can show them from the top. Uh, here, let me... What the heck? Look at me, y'all. Look at me. I don't know if you can see that. It has a curve. Right there is rounded, the back is flat. And so if you look at the schematic and also the way it's printed on the board, you'll see that they show it with a curve. So we're gonna assume that's just how you put it on there. That's gotta be how you put it on there. So Britain is now ready to put the IC on and they give you a nice little socket. And so you'll notice on the board, well, that should have been red. Let me get that in focus. That says Z1, doesn't it? That would be Well, it's the only place to put it. Notice there's a little notch right here on the board. And on the socket, they have a little notch. So this is the way you're supposed to put the socket. There's a little notch on this side, and it matches the board. So, yeah, you just set the socket right in place. Don't put the IC in yet. I don't know what this is. You saw the socket in place. Oh, okay. So that's the, that's the U1, and then the IC is that. Yeah, and that pops into it. So after you solder that in place, then you put the, yeah, yeah. Got it. and so you're going to just use little drops of solder. And uh, you want to watch a video on how to solder in sockets? first <laughs> or do you want to just try it it's very very little drops of solder very little yeah can do it okay you can do it all right so now we're to the next step oh Brady got the ic in and it's sitting this little chip sitting in a little socket there and now she's putting the crystal now our kits came with we put a little extra for our kits because they came with a 70 40 crystal so it comes with a 7, 70 40 uh, crystal, which is allowed for uh, if you have a technical license, then you can use this board with that. However, if Britain fries this board, it's only three bucks to buy the raw board, raw kit. So. All right, Britain has put the final components on the board. Hopefully, everything will work perfectly. Um, again, keep in mind this board is ordered from China. Quality control is probably not the best. The components could be bad. Even if she got everything right, I really expect the odds of this is going to go up in a puff of smoke. We're going to find out what happens. If not, great. But if it does, we're going to troubleshoot it and learn how to troubleshoot electronics. It's a great learning tool. We don't have any clue what we're doing. So we're having fun. And uh, we can order more of these pixie boards for like three bucks until we get it right. But we're going to learn and practice, and that's what's good. So there we go. All right, here it is. Yes. All put together. Mike's going to film as we blow it up into a pile of smoke. The soldering job is a little rough. No offense, Brittany. Here's my makeshift key. And then we got our power adapter. I'm sorry. We'll unplug this charging cable for the iPad. I'm fine with it. It's fine. And then we got this ready. My whole thing, the reason why I didn't tell you is because he gave you a rose afterwards. And I had nothing to do with that. I'm going to have to edit all this out. It's fine. I'll take care of it. He did because so I have my. Can you see this? This is my cable here. So I can connect this to my outdoor antenna. So it's a BNC. Cool. So we'll plug that in. And we'll connect. Let me go get my antenna. I'm probably yeah. going to electrocute myself. That's <laughs> good. Sitting there. Why don't you put it on the table or something? Oh. Um, you don't. This thing works for good lighting. Good lighting. It is good I'll lighting. Just let it hang. It's there. That is the purpose of it's it. It's on the floor there. It's good lighting. It is. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? I want to work. That does not sound right. That's Satan in there. I think that sounds right. <sighs> I think I have this in the wrong jack. 
maybe I have the headphones in the, no, I have them in the right jack. Phone is in the phone jack. So, <laughs> I don't think it's working. Uh, here it goes. Well, it's a solid tone. Um, maybe my wire's touching. No, it's not. Maybe, let's try. Do you need help? No, I got it. Here, I'll just... I'm not doing Morse code right, but... It looks okay. like it's it's backwards though. Oh, the tones are backwards. Yeah, I don't think it should be. It should be like a low. It yeah, I don't think it should be transmitting. Now let's let's go ahead and see what we have out of the speakers, and we're gonna switch antennas. It was it was definitely transmitting something, but I don't think it's right. <laughs> Because it should it's sound like more that. like yeah. that. The high tone. Yeah. Instead, it's like opposite. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to plug in the receiving antenna. And we're going to plug this into my radio. That's scaring me. All right, now, um, with that being said, um, I need to hook my, you know, I have kinds of people transmitting. Where's my microphone? Here it is. Now, we're going to go ahead and Put this on key mode. Now we'll plug this back in. Yeah. That's not good. It's smoking. It's smoking? Oops. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it on camera, but it was uh, smoking. Okay. You can smell it. All right. I'm throwing my life away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we knew something wasn't right. Um, so it's unplugged now, and it was smoking. So something is not right. So... That's our first attempt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so now we have to figure out what we did. So uh, I think I found what caused it. Um, if I put in this other 12 volt power adapter, it causes it to start to smoke. If I put in, of course it's shot now anyway. Um, I think it's just the transistor is what got hot. I think I just need to replace that transistor, but the pixie boards are so cheap. I just ordered a whole another one. Um, but the power adapter I first used said it was 12 volt. I didn't bother to check it. I just assumed it was going to be 12 volt. It was actually 14 volt. And everything I've read is you're definitely going to fry this thing if you try to hook 14 volts up to it. So I believe that's what did it. Now, um, it still doesn't work. But again, I did smoke it now at this point twice trying to figure out what was smoking. Um, I found another one that's rated 12 volts, and it is actually 12.01 volts. I don't know why the other one said 12 volts. I should have took a voltmeter to it before testing it. I can plug this one in. I get the same results. However, it doesn't smoke. I'm sure that it was probably all put together right. I've gone through it several times. I don't see any solder wrong. I don't see any uh, uh, capacitor wrong. Uh, the diodes are right. Everything is right. It should have worked. So, 
either the transistor was defective out of the box or more than likely I burned it up because I didn't bother to check the voltage off the power supply and was just going by what it said it was rated at. So learn from my mistake um, and make sure when you plug it in, you either use batteries or you check the voltage on the power supply. I got this little one here now. This is, I don't know what it's even for, um, but it's a 12 volt 0.6 amp power supply, um, which should be plenty to turn it on, at least to be able to receive. If anything, I don't think this is gonna draw that much amperage. So anyway, but this is actually 12.1 volts when tested on a meter. So my bad, we will attempt this again, but uh, that's why I said with my other videos, I'm not here to teach you, I'm here so that you can see what not to do. 